welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome and if you're back mwah, mwah, kisses my name is rosie for short and today i want to talk about 10 tips that i apply in my life that helps me save money and these are things that i have been applying over the years and they have helped me tremendously it makes me feel more comfortable with the choices that i make in different areas of my life i hope they help you too and if there are any tips that you do that you like doing you can also share that with me in the comment section and that way we can help each other so i noticed that in my last favorites video it got really long so i'm gonna try to make this as short as possible and get to the point <laughs> so without talking anymore let's begin okay so tip number one is no cable I haven't paid for cable many many years now and that's because I noticed that I would never see any TV and this started like when I was in high school and I had my own laptop I would see a lot of videos on YouTube, so I noticed that the only reason I was paying for cable was for little Lynn for her to see cartoons. So that's when I realized that, you know what, let me stop paying for cable. Back then I was paying like $30 because I had the promotion, but I think it was going up to like $50. So that's when I thought that, you know what, I'm just going to pay for Netflix. Back then it was $7.99. I think now it's like $9.99 but yeah I went for Netflix and Little Lynn still got to see cartoons and if anything she could look up anything that she wanted on YouTube and I love that nowadays they have a YouTube app just for kids so that works perfectly for us so yes no cable anymore cut the cable <laughs> okay tip number two have a basic phone plan so this is something that I have been doing for a few years and basically I don't pay for the full plan which could cost like $50 or $60 for unlimited everything. I get the basic basic phone plan that is like, I can't remember, $25 or $30. That's because I have internet at home and the other place that I spend my time is at my work and and my work I got Wi-Fi so those are the two places where I use the most internet home and work so why pay extra for internet so I feel like with the basic plan is more than enough and when I go out I still have internet available so it works fine if you notice that you spend a lot of time at home and at work I think maybe that could be an option for you too Okay, tip number three, this is really basic, but I think a lot of people tend to forget this. And I'm so used to this that I never forget, but that is to turn off everything that you're not using. Electricity, lights, lamps. When it's daytime, I like having my windows open. I just love natural light. And I know this is working for me because I don't pay a lot of electricity. Oh, and another thing, I don't have the AC during the day. Unless it's super, super duper hot, I do turn it on. But other than that, I don't turn it on. And that helps a lot. And I pay every month about $40. So I know that it is working. We live in a two-bedroom, two-bathroom. And yeah, so it's perfect. Just turn off everything that you are not using. <laughs> okay, tip number four, because nowadays it's so convenient to buy online. I like buying makeup online, things for the home online, and I like using Ebates, right? Who doesn't like getting cash back with Ebates? So I make sure to have Ebates installed, that way you don't have to remember which websites will offer cash back. And once you enter the site, it will give you like a little pop-up on the top right. What is the cashback percent? So I have that installed. And just in case you don't have it, I'm going to include the link in my description box. But yes, just don't forget to use Ebates because over the weeks or months, it adds up. And you get cashback. Okay, tip number five. Really simple and it can be hard but have your own car. I know it's nice to have a fancy car, but the nice part is not having to pay each month 
and to worry about if it's going to get any stains, if it's going to get any bumps, you know, just having to worry that you have to give it back or maintain the car in great condition just like they gave it to you so that they won't charge you extra. So I just love having my own car. This was my first car and I treat it as a baby. I have the Honda Element and I love it not only because I like the style of the car but it has a lot of space inside and it's my own car. And apart from that, when I was looking for a car, SUV, a lot of them are six cylinder so I made sure that it was four cylinder so that I can save money on gas and I pay about $20 every two weeks. Another thing that helps is that I don't turn on the AC especially now that it's not too hot. I open up the windows unless it's super hot then I do turn it on but other than that I don't so yeah just have your own car. <laughs> Okay, tip number six is make your own meals at home. So just, if you can, just cook at home. It's gonna save a lot of money. Here in Florida, we have the grocery store Publix and every week they have new promotions of buy one, get one free or buy one, get one half off. I always like to buy whatever they have on sale and that way I save a lot of money on fruits, on veggies, and another thing, for example, if I see strawberries going on sale, I will go online and look up recipes like for a smoothie or a dessert, something that I can use those ingredients for. So yeah, we do like going out to eat maybe once a week, but most of the time we do eat at home. I cook, I make George his lunch, and I put snacks for little Lynn. Tip number seven free events. So what I mean by that, here in Miami there's a website called Miami on the Cheap and I was told by this website by another mom and they always let you know what's coming up, um, a free events, if you can go in for free and another thing, a lot of places have free days so the Miami Children's Museum will have the third Friday of each month for free and a lot of places you can go in for free. So what I like doing, I make a list of different places and I like to see which days are free and then I just set up a reminder in my app, in my calendar app and we can go in for free. And another thing that I love doing, I just go to the library and they can provide free passes to different museums. My favorite museum or my favorite place to go here in Miami is Vizcaya. That's a place that a lot of people love going. Um, in fact, the last photo of my outro, I took that photo there. And just the entrance there is like $20. And when we went, it was George, it was Little Lynn, my mom and I. So that would have been about $80. I got the free pass from the library. And yeah, we were able to go in for free, which was amazing. The only thing is you just have to be checking very often when it's available because they only give you those free passes for one week and it's like first, first come, first serve. You have to be the first person to get them. So what I did, I was checking the website so many times and when I saw that they were back, I was the first person the next morning at the library ready to get them so yeah just check out websites you can always go in for free at different places okay tip number eight and I call this the beauty salon at home so what I mean I try to do everything that I can as far as beauty related at home so that means cutting my own hair if you've seen my cut your own hair at home videos um, I do my nails my eyelashes different things that I do at home to save money and it's okay to go to the beauty salon like every often just to get like a relaxing day but in order to save money just do it at home because just for a haircut could be $20 then the manicure then if you do the eyelash refill it adds up so I just like doing most of that on my own at home and I have a few days in the month where I call it like me, myself time. I just tell little Lynn and George that it's my spa day and it's the day just for me. 
Okay, tip number nine is sell your items. So basically, just get rid of anything that you are not using, get rid of it. There are many different sites like eBay, Poshmark, if you're into like fashion, um, just make a yard sale. Recently, I sold a bundle, well, two times. Um, at a yard sale, I sold a bundle of kids' clothes and I was able to get rid of that stuff. It was like brand new shoes, clothes with tags, um, a little bit of toys. It was a little bit of everything. So they got a really good deal. And a few days ago, I sold another bundle of clothes through the app. It's not Offer app, the other one, the red logo. I, I, I'm forgetting now. I'll remember later. But yeah, I was able to sell um, a bundle of clothes for $100. And it was including a lot of brand new things, a lot of brand new clothes. It was things that Little Lynn never got to wear and it had tags. So I included a lot of new things, but they were a few used things. And Poshmark, just recently I started selling on Poshmark. I'm gonna give you a link. If you use my Poshmark link, you get $5 free. Okay, and the last thing, tip number 10, Uber. So we use Uber if we're going to a fun event, especially if we're going to Miami Beach where we know that parking there is a hassle, a lot of people, a lot of cars, and not only that, the parking can be up to like $20. So just to make the experience more fun and to save time, to save money, we love using Uber. And not only that, but you're also helping a person earn money. So I'm going to leave a link also, an offer code for your first Uber drive for free. Okay, so those were my 10 tips that I like to do to save money and they really help me a lot. If you have any other things that you like doing, you can share it with me. I would love to know your tips. Thank you so much for watching. If you have liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next week. Kisses. Bye.